Manchester United forward uh, Ronaldo will leave with immediate effect. Uh, the Premier League team said yesterday. Uh, so, of course, yesterday being a big day at Manchester United. His departure uh, will mark a bitter end to the Portugal captain's second spell at Old Trafford after he, he said uh, he felt betrayed by the club. An explosive interview with Talk TV uh, earlier this month uh, in which Ronaldo also said he did not respect uh, Dutch manager Eric Ten Hag had put him on shaky ground at the club. He rejoined in August 2021 after winning eight major trophies with them uh, between 2003 and 2009. Uh, United said last week they would address Ronaldo's comments only after establishing the complete facts and added last Friday that they had initiated appropriate steps in response. Uh, last month, Ten Hag said Ronaldo had refused to come on as a substitute against Premier League rivals Tottenham Hotspur when the forward walked down the tunnel with a few minutes of the game remaining after being put on the bench. The 37-year-old uh, was then not part of the squad that faced Chelsea the following Saturday before returning to the Manchester United fold. Uh, Ronaldo later said in the interview he regretted leaving early against Spurs but added his decision to walk off came because he felt provoked uh, by Eric Ten Hag. Uh, Ronaldo said in a statement yesterday uh, that he loved the club and the fans. So yes, this um, love-hate relationship between Ronaldo and Manchester United is coming to an end. Uh, unfortunately, um, I mean, I always thought that, you know, after the interview came out, uh, the one with Pace Morgan, that it was, it was going to signal the end uh, for Ronaldo at Manchester United. But again, uh, we, we still don't know what it is, the correlation uh, between the things that Ronaldo said, which of course are very damning on the Glazers, and the Glazers' decision yesterday uh, to uh, say that they are open to selling the club, of course. Um, I mean, the, the Ronaldo... Uh, the story of Ronaldo's departure from Manchester United uh, broke just about an hour or thereabout uh, before the Glazers' uh, announcement that they would be willing to sell the club. There are other options, like I did read out. Um, they are open to outside investment. You know, they are open to you know breaking it down in different ways. Uh, and just a quick one, quick um, uh, education down memory lane. Uh, for those who don't know, 17 years ago, uh, when the Glazer family bought Manchester United. Like I said, in controversial fashion, uh, they were, Manchester United, I mean, were actually going to be bought over by a former African leader. Now, this is just some uh, side notes. Uh, the former uh, supreme leader of the Libyan government, I'm sure you already know what I'm talking about, Muammar Gaddafi, was 95% done uh, with buying out Manchester United. That deal was scuttled because uh, they were somewhere with an agent that everybody in football knows, Penny is a Harvey, uh, arguing over a couple million pounds and then the Glazer family you know, went behind and that controversial buyout happened and then the Glazers became owners of Manchester United. So, I mean, Manchester United has been mad in a lot of interesting stories in terms of their ownership uh, for many, many years.